in the corner, Brown. Hit a couple in the first half, doesn't hit that one. And the Eagles want to run. McBride stepping through and Bingham with the block. And now Watts is foul. The length, the strength, and get that shot out of here. This is the present center. He just makes so many wise choices when he gets the ball. It's a nice little face up. That's what the defense allowed. Here's Gibson had it blocked away by Bingham. At the other end, Bingham using that length. Here's McBride into the lane. Blocked away. That was Sissoko. And now Hauser is foul. The lawyer gets beat on that one. But the big fella cleans it up and slides over, goes straight up, blocks it without fouling. And it just seems like any given guy on any given night can, can score 20 points. <laughs> Soko <laughs> sends that one <laughs> out of bounds with emphasis. Yeah, you think you have a pretty easy shot. <laughs> Aaron Henry only shot three times in that game against Eastern Michigan. That's why Tom Izzo said we got to make it a priority to feed him. That time Henry gets the block. And went into a three-point shot. That's not easy to do. Aaron Henry playing great on both ends of the floor. The first to double figures at 12 points. Foster Lawyer. His teammates up off the bench the most. Foster Lawyer says, you know what? Y'all picked on me early. I'm giving you some of your own medicine and decided to return for his junior season at Michigan State. But what he learned from Gary Harris and Denzel Valentine. It's difficult. It has been very difficult this half for Michigan State to run offense. And they just ripped it away. Double team Jeremy Roach and took it away. And in transition, Watts again. DJ Stewart blocked. Swatted by Henry. Watts is as fast from one end of the court to the other as anybody he's been around. And now another Duke turnover and numbers on the break for the Spartans. And Watts again. His dad, Mike Davis, of course the head coach here at Detroit. The blues, blues ball handling that time by Frazier. Needs to run out by the Spartans. Detroit trying to pull off the upset. Around the edge, got it pinned by Bingham. Saw him grimacing just a bit on his way back down on the other side of the floor, and another block on the drive. Give that one to Gabe Brown. Here in Michigan State, and really, they've done a great job defensively. They're protecting the rim much better so far through the first three minutes of the second half than they did the whole first half. Try to back down Kithier, but Kithier gets the block shot. Great pass. What a pass. <laughs> Brandon God, Robbie Hummel with you. Great helps as a pass there. inside is deflected. Josh Langford read that play the whole way. I watch him right here. And he just steps right in, intercepts this pass. And then Michigan State is off to the races. A really good decision by Rocket Watch. It Draw the defender. You don't allow them to get back to your shooter. That pass is on target. Josh Langford. 13 assists on 14 made field goals so far for Michigan State. And there's a swat on the other side. So Bingham got the flush and then the rejection. On in this season. That's what Marcus Bingham has really brought to this deep. I just don't think even with the percentage Hauser was shooting coming into this game that you can really Honestly, disrespect him like that. He, he is way too good a shooter. And Henry, though, missing another one. And Michigan State 0 for their first four from the floor. Another tap away. It's Aaron Henry again. His second steal already. And Henry with the right hand. Nice scoop. It's there. And here's Aaron Henry's activity on the defensive end of the floor. This is a big-time finish. And that's a really long... 6'11 player and Pete Nance. Look at the way Aaron Henry stretching out. Yeah, that's very true. He's been so good. The bar's been set so high by guys like him and Luca Garza. Good steal by Hogan. Stanton probes inside, gets one up and blocked by Michigan State. 
Curtis in the drive, and it's blocked by Michigan State. How about the disruptive defense from the Spartans? Nebraska has not gotten very many opportunities in the open floor. Oh. Turnover. Here comes Gabe Brown. It's showtime. Who have been making a lot of threes. They block shots. They get out in transition. Garland Knights are good. They throw it away, though. Hogard on the break. One-on-one. -on -one. Hogard challenge scores anyway. Been right off it, and then he found Thomas Kithier, and then alert for the steal on the cross-court pass and protects the ball. Was able to get that little left-handed shot in. Well, back and forth they go. Two quick, fast breaks. Rutgers doesn't convert, though. So here comes Michigan State. Langford Good. found Henry wide open for three. Playing defense here against the Scarlet Knights. We're off to a sloppy start offensively. It's been a really good offensive team for Rutgers. Nice block from Sissoko. In the Dome in Indianapolis, a comfortable setting, I think, for Big Ten teams. A good shot block there. Rutgers in transition, can't score. Hogard back on the floor. Sometimes you have to go to the bench to try to get your starters going a little bit. Aaron Wheeler giving it up to Ivy. Oh, look how Bingham rejects it. Well, he should be. Uh, it just it makes sense defensively, stepping up. Now you not known historically to do that. He's usually about an eight pounder. There's, there's another rejection from Bingham. He's got three in the last two possessions. Oh, oh. Roy's got to shoot that. He's he, he's doing something. Film of the last minute of the first half. Well, Marcus Bingham Jr. Terrific job. He stood in there. Good start for Hauser. Nine of their 28 points. Four of six from the field in his 14 minutes. Triple drive as Johnson can't finish. Barstay's got to get into their own. Oh, nice There's a steal, steal off the inbounds. Wow. Henry. Nine point game. We're really comfortable, a little laissez faire, and Henry with those long paws. If I'm Michigan State, if the ball goes into Garza, I'm full fledged collapsing and making life difficult. They tried, it was a little late, but Bingham up to the challenge, gets the block, and now Henry on the push. Henry in the open floor, driving all the way to the rim. Again, no one personnel. Watch how many green jerseys going to come in and make life difficult. And the one thing Bingham is, he's not strong. But... Improvement for Michigan State in that last game against Iowa was the improved three-point shooting. That is something that they had struggled with in the last few games. Offensive rebound, but Bingham is there. That's part of that big presence that he provides. Defensively, how about this block? Well, 6'11", you want to be big at the rim. and Hit him with the shoulder. And then, you know, slight fade on the release. And then he rips it away with that long wingspan. Here's the push for Michigan State and Brown with the silky smooth finish. Fade and then the steal. Bingham comes up, gives it up. And Brown, smooth creativity at the rim. In Nebraska's return game after not playing for 27 days due to a COVID pause. Going to be a little rusty. Ooh, Brown making that tough and staring down Teddy Allen after that. <laughs> Allen trying to get downhill. You see he's off balance so he can't explode. And Brown just kind of times it beautifully with the block. It's good job by Marcus Bingham staying at home, coming up with the block. The final eight minutes of this one. And Henry with the steal and the flush. And then the foul was on the follow-up on Malik Hall. Right down the lane, Brockington had his shot rejected by Marcus Bingham. Kithier. That's Watts, another tough shot for him. And look at Hara go up, but Hall snatched it away from him. Malik Hall scores, tough guy play for Hall. The other team's making threes, and the biggest, strongest guy gets the rebound, but uh-uh, Malik Hall takes it away and then bullies his way in. And that, look at the bench behind him. That's the kind of play that energizes you and gets you a win, and no one's going to recognize it. Deflected, outlet, Tucson to the cup, off the window, blocked by Gabe Brown. Great hustle by Brown to get back down the Gabe Brown said, listen, I know you wanted to get two points. Franklin with seven. Armand Woo! Franklin rejected on a mid-range jump shot. Don't see that every day. And a goal 10 all Aaron Henry. Wow. Really do yourself a lot of good and appreciate what Aaron Henry's about by watching that. Look at his defense by Henry. Terrific the whole time fronting. Up 
up ahead and a stuff for Bingham. We talked about a great defense right here. Now watch Bingham sprint. Watch 30. He runs right by. What are you doing, Indiana? You got to sprint back because if you the first thing. The guys on the floor who really utilized the shot fake to great success as the Zulu tried to dump it down low. And it's a turnover for Illinois. They're fourth of this first half. Trailing on the play. There's Hauser. Some matchups and you find your niche to, to not play for three weeks and then to come back and in this conference is tough. Woo, what a challenge by Bingham with the rejection inside. It goes along with what Illinois has been doing or not doing. This is usually a Coburn two-handed dunk. And he went up with one hand. Usually he goes up strong and takes the entire team with him. That is terrific timing by Bingham. And that fights his way around. Dell wants to screen on Brown. Marble goes underneath it, and it's taken away. Here is Henry. One on two, a long step to the rim. They win a national title as Orange plays safety again, and this time he's denied at the rim. There's a scrum for it, plucked away by Michigan State. Will this be a turning point? Brown the pull up. Iowa outside. Wiggins spinning, driving, knocked away. Good defense inside by Brown. He has four points in the lane. Off balance, Henry missing, and here's Fennessy with a full head of steam. Euro step and rejected from behind by Gabe Brown. Thompson out to Durham. He's had a quiet night, hasn't made a shot, and it's rejected. Bingham blocks it. Right by, then the right hand finish. How about Marcus Bingham coming over and just erasing this Al Durham drive? Watts misses again. He's going to put pressure on you in the running game. Turnovers. Steal by Aaron Henry. Now Watts will try and go to the rim. Points on the board right there. Help guys like Henry. Here we go now. There's a transition game. We got to run, baby. We got to run the sport and say, oh, Mr. Watts with the conversion. Five seconds to go in the half. And the other way, Shawnee Brown. He comes up empty, but Dick, it's still a double digit lead for the Wolverines at the break. He was like, okay, are you, are you, are you healed? Okay, we're going back to Michigan State <laughs> uh, basketball. Nice bounce. Oh, and Smith has it ripped out of his hands. Interior. Look at Bingham. He's helping, then recovers quickly enough, gets the block.